It's Friday and the weekend is here. We'll tell you what the weather will be like so you can enjoy it. And what exactly is a palace cat? We'll find out today on The Brave Club. What's up, Warriors? Welcome to the Brave Club. I'm Salma. And I'm Jolene. We're here with our co-hosts, Knox and Amani. Today is Friday, January 27th, 2023. We're almost through the first month of 2023. Mm. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Knox is back. I've been gone for a while, but... Everybody's been everybody's, asking. Everybody's missed me, and I'm back now, so... <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Do well, you have any plans for the weekend? Uh, I'm going to Universal. That's fine. Yep. I don't know no. Never. No. I don't know what I'm oh. never had plans. I just like weekend. chilling. I just chill. Right. Yeah. Anyways, what's um, for weather today? The weather today, it is pretty similar to yesterday. It is a high of 64 and a low of 44. There's no rain, and it's obviously sunny because there's no rain. Um, it's going to get up to 84 by Monday, and then just stay there throughout the week, I'm pretty sure. And yeah. I'm not saying it. <laughs> I was going to ask, where's your signature line? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. No rain. Yeah, it was pretty cold outside. It is really yeah. cold outside today. Yes. It is freezing. Um, yeah. 44. So cool. Okay. So what do you have with celebrity <sighs> news? So? Okay, first celebrity news today. Britney Spears had the cops call to her house by her fans. Um, sources say she decided to take a little break from social media. She deactivated her Instagram account, and this led to the fans calling the cops on her. They asked, they called 911, like in a 911 call, it's heard by one of her fans who called the Ventura County Police that they wanted a wellness check, which I didn't even know was a thing that you could what do. Is that? Like a wellness check, you just call and ask them to go to someone's house to check up on them. Oh. The cops did show up at her house around midnight, and then Brittany said, I love and adore my fans, but this time things went a little too far and my privacy was invaded. But she said it's also not completely surprising because she has been dealing with this kind of things for a long time, being in the public eye. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So like, when you get like famous or whatever, you just get random yeah. police yeah. calls on you. Yeah, I Yeah, and you so. get like swatted and stuff too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But like, I didn't even know that's a thing. You can just like ask the cops to go to someone's house to yeah. like check just up on them. <laughs> like. I don't even know that. That shouldn't be legal. Yeah, yeah probably, probably not. not. Probably you have know. the consent of the other person. Anyways, okay. sports. sports. That does sports. Lifestyle. lifestyle. Oh, lifestyle. lifestyle. Sorry. Lifestyle. Okay. Yes, lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. Lifestyle. <laughs> Whoops. So apparently there are cats in Mount Everest. Um, <laughs> they're called palace cats. They're also known as manals. Um, so they found this out in 2019, so they've been undetected ever since. Um, so as of 2019, there was only like two that was known, but now as of 2022, last year, there was 58,000 of them. Um, so they are very small animals. They're only 20 to 24 inches long, which is like about two feet. Um, they live eight to nine years. Um, they're mostly all fur, which insulates them from the cold. Climbing rock crevices and cliff faces are easy for them, which obviously makes sense why they live in, like, Mount Everest, because, I don't know, it's just made for them. Um, they're wild animals, and they are aggressive, so they cannot be made as pets. Oh. So. It looks like a squirrel. <laughs> yes, and then it's a squirrel. Okay. <laughs> it's not a cat. It does look like not a cat. It has a, it has a it's squirrel tail. I think. A, but a cat face. I think it's a, a cat it. face. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, but yeah. Okay. What do you got for sports? Um, it seems like people cannot put Dame Dalla on this list, list after he dropped his fourth career 60-point game against the Utah Jazz. He's now tied with Michael Jordan and James Harden for the third most 60-point games in league history, trailing only Kobe Bryant with six and Wilt Chamberlain with 32. <laughs> Um, he's ranked third in per game value over the last month and first over the two, the past two weeks. He's dropped over 50 points twice in that span while averaging 
averaging 39.5 points per game. Dame Tom. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped, what, 71? No, none of you know anything about sports, but I think he put like a 71-point game this season too. No? Yeah, so that's like 71 points individual. Like he yeah, made 70 himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like himself. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what it means. Yeah. Everyone looks disappointed. Yes. In us. <laughs> Everyone back here is like. We have an okay. Audience. Yeah. Well, let's have Colt come in with our warrior updates. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so what I have here is just the same stuff from yesterday, essentially. Uh, just to remind you about the boys' basketball tryouts and the shelter drive. If you didn't hear about that yesterday, I'm going to be talking about it today. So if you're interested, you can see the information I'm going to read. Uh, conditioning for Warriors boys' basketball is going to be February 27th, 28th, March 2nd, and 3rd from 4.15 to 5.30. So that's when you do the conditioning before the tryouts. And March 6th, 7th, and 8th after school is when you're actually like going to be trying out for the team to do stuff. Mm -hmm. So all the people who want to try out have to do the conditioning first. So you can't just try out. You have to go to the, all the conditioning. Um, and before, I would recommend before that, you have to grab your releasing consent form in order per, uh, per, eh, to, per, to participate. Pick, up, pick that up from uh, Coach Broadway at the gym or the front office. So that's just where you get your stuff to go and uh, get ready for boys basketball, I guess. You guys ever go to the games? Like, I asked that the last no. time. But no. No, because, no, well, Knox, Knox is here now, so I want to get his opinion. You go to the games? No, I, haven't, I haven't been to the games, but I like that they're making it harder to get on the team instead of just going just yeah. for trials. Yeah, that, I, yeah, that makes sense. It makes mm -hmm. sense. So... Uh, we also have the shelter drive for Sanford Middle, and it ends February 10th. And in the shelter drive, it's for dogs and cats at animal shelters that, you know, don't have much. So the whole goal is to donate a ton of stuff there. Uh, you can bring any items like dog food, treats, toys, Kong items, dog beds, you know, even like silly little outfits for the pets. I don't know who would do that, but, you know. <laughs> Uh, you can bring all of them to Miss Friedman's room in room in, in room 217 in building two. Or you can just bring it to the front office, which I personally feel like is easier. But, you know, if you like Miss Friedman and you have a class, you can go there. Has anyone started doing it yet or no? I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to Wait. see. Yeah. I would hope so. You should donate to animals. That's oh, yeah. like, oh, yeah. Yeah. donate to animals. Yeah. Be Support. nice. Support donate to animals. animals. Is there Support. a little raffle thingy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The raffle. I almost forgot. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so each item that you donate, <laughs> each item that you donate, you get a raffle ticket that you can, at, so at the end of the whole shelter drive, all your raffle tickets get put in this big raffle and you win like, a treat or surprise or something, and I don't know what that is. But when they say treat, I'm really hoping it, I'm really hoping it's like people treats and not. Well, I, would hope, I would hope so too. Yeah, okay. dog it's, food. It's, 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 human oh, yeah. it's human oh, treat. Oh, it's human. Oh, it's human. Yes. Oh, yeah. good. Thank God. I we didn't just want to eat dog that food. Out. Yeah. <laughs> We've just okay. been informed. Thank you. Inside We've been informed. Yeah. We have inf we have inside information. All right, that's pretty much all we have for our worry updates. Okay. I mean, Thanks, Colt. Thank, Thank you, Colt, for our worry updates. Thanks for having me. Wrap up there, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, checking on the goals you've set for yourself. Reach out to teachers for tutoring if needed. Don't be afraid to ask for help. And also be aware of Stanford Middle's tardy policy. Make sure you get to class on time. And also be aware of the cell phone and earbud policy. Put away your cell phones when entering class and only use one earbud during transition. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay connected with us on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with all SMS news and events. Warriors, remember, you are brave, believe in your potential, respect your school and community, always do what is right, visualize your success, and engage in Excel and learning. That's all we have for today. Thanks for stopping by. Catch us next time right here on The Brave Club.